Hello and welcome to another Lightroom editing video. What I've got here is a picture of Edinburgh, or rather Edinburgh. Well, it's not really Edinburgh that you see in this picture, but it was kind of the harbor area. And this was just kind of some industrial or it looks like living houses actually. I just took a shot of it and I thought I edited it now, because I really like the clouds and I kind of like the texture in the sea for this photo. I'm definitely gonna go black and white for this photo, but before I do anything else, I'm definitely gonna straighten the horizon, as you can see I totally messed that up in this photo and that already looks pretty good. Then let's go to black and white and I definitely want a very dramatic picture in here. But let's bring down the highlight so we get a lot of detail back into the clouds. And I'm also gonna bring up the shadows and then I'm gonna bring down the black slider so we get the very dramatic picture. And by the way, a lot of people ask me, why do you bring up the shadows yet bring down the blacks? That doesn't really make any sense. Well, it does, because you have to keep in mind that blacks and shadows aren't really the same thing. So if I would have shadows at zero here, there would just be so much uh, detail even in the dark parts missing. So that's why I really like bringing up the shadows, even in my dramatic black and white pictures. I feel like I'm gonna stick somewhere around there. Let's go to white and bring that one up while holding down the all key. And just let go before it clips. In terms of clarity, let me see here. I feel like this picture could use some plus clarity. Yeah, definitely. So the texture in the water and in the clouds get a little bit more pronounced. Then down here at the tonal curve, let's as always bring up the highlights. But because this is a black and white picture, I don't really want to bring that up that much for this photo. So let me just stick around there and mess around with the other sliders. And see whatever works best. I kind of like this darker mood. And the shadows here, I think I'm going to bring them up as well. Now, a thing that I definitely do want to add in this photo is vignetting, but actually before I do that, let me just crop this picture a little bit differently, because I feel like this right part of the image is just kind of boring and unnecessary, so let me crop that away. Yeah, that definitely works way better. And maybe even straighten the horizon a bit more carefully. Yeah, I think that works even better. Now, as you can see, we're down here at the effects, so let me add some vignetting. Let's see with the midpoint. I think I'm gonna bring the midpoint a bit more towards the center of the image. And to the vignetting, the amount of vignetting. I feel like around minus 25 works pretty well. I do like how this looks, but I feel like there's just a bit too much sky. So once again, let me go to the crop tool. Just crop down some of the sky, something like that, while still remaining some of the rule of thirds composition. Maybe I've even overdone it with the horizon here. Damn it, really a lot of horizon straightening in this picture. But anyways, I definitely do like this picture right now. Then what I haven't just played around with before is global contrast, so I feel like I might add a little bit of that and maybe even raise the shadows even more. Then I feel like the overall sky is a bit too overexposed, so let me grab a graduated filter here and just drag that one over the sky and bring down the exposure a bit to where it looks perfectly fine. I think that works pretty good. And then let me grab an adjustment brush and add even more vignetting to the picture, just like that here. Yeah, I definitely do like that. Maybe even drop it even further and kind of get rid of some of the vignetting in the right portion because that is kind of too dark. And then a last thing that I'm going to do for this picture is as always add some dodge and burning, meaning make an individual part of the image brighter or darker. But in this case, I really think I'm just going to stick with making some individual parts brighter, just to kind of add a little bit more dynamic and a bit more interest in terms of lighting into the picture. So I'll see you in a second.
Alright, so I'm done after having some dodge and burning. I mean, I really don't think this is one of my best pictures, but I still thought it had some potential and it was worth editing. So, as always, let's see the raw file here and what we've made out of it. So I think it kind of works. It's not something that I would put on my wall. It's definitely not that great. But I still like the editing and the overall mood of the picture. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Lightroom Quick Edit. If you've enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. That definitely helps me out a lot. And if you would like to see more Lightroom Quick Edits, be sure to check out the playlist right there. And if you would like to learn a bit more in depth about Lightroom and editing landscape photos, I have a ton of in-depth tutorials right there. If you would like to help me out, you can do so by just sharing this video on Facebook or Twitter. And of course, be sure to subscribe if you would like to see more videos just like this one and other Lightroom and photography related videos in the future. I upload multiple videos every single week. I wish you an amazing day. Take care. Welcome, 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 welcome.